What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to MMO's World. We're bringing you another recap of all the major MMO news that happened throughout the week, so sit tight and soak it in. It is going to be a Korean-themed news recap video. Lots of Korean MMOs out with content that was released this week or some big news. And we start off with Terra. The Valkyrie class will be coming to Terra on consoles for the Xbox One and PlayStation 4. We do have a date. It will arrive on January 8, 2019. This hard-hitting, quick-moving, big damage hero win is a master of action combat and is ready to take on all comers, BAMs included. Players will be able to take part in a Valkyrie level up event with some amazing in-game items awarded along the way plus double XP for the first week after launch. But that's not all. In celebration of the Valkyrie's launch, all players who log into Terra before Friday, January 25th will receive a free character slot so be sure to have room for the awesomeness that is the new Valkyrie class on consoles. Moving on now to NCSoft's Blade and Soul. The Theater of Mystery update is now live, just launched this week for Blade and Soul. Players can now log in and take on fresh challenges in the form of new heroic dungeons with in-game events and much more going on. So the Dream Song Theater will pit players against a playhouse full of evil. The themes in this dungeon is really nice, very theatrical, and looks like a blast to participate in. The Holiday Treasure Trove is also back. It's that time of the year for presents and other good stuff opened on December the 5th. And looking at the patch notes, there's been a lot of system tweaks and improvements to Blade and Soul as well. The level cap has been increased to level 55 Hong Moon, level 30, for example, and the maximum cap for Hong Moon points has been increased by 5. Lots of stuff going on right now. Head on over to the Blade and Soul website and check out the full patch notes. Elsewhere, Black Desert Online, Southeast Asia, now lets you pre register for the brand new Archer class. Adventurers all over the world will be able to play the new character, the Archer, in game on December 12th. The Archer is a descendant of Sylvia and protector of Adwir realm beyond existence that lies beneath the sacred tree Kamasville. However you pronounce that, video does have some pretty difficult pronunciations. So the Agile Archer uses the crossbow as his main weapon and the Ragon as his sub-weapon to inflict major damage on his enemies. For adventurers that pre-register for the Archer class from December the 5th to 12th before maintenance, the game is giving away a free character slot, expansion coupons, blessing of the Camas Ville for 7 days and much more. So don't miss out on all these exclusive extras if you want to level up the brand new Archer class. Moving on now, another Korean game with some news this week is Blast Online. It has released some brand new content on the 5th. First of all, it is the Rift of Time and Space. This is a brand new update that introduces a new third stage, and the expansion will take the Rift of Time and Space to a total of 30 rounds from the previous 20. It also adds a new area, and there's going to be new stage rewards like bracelet items that give additional effects to the player's character. This new third stage has never been released before in any region, so blessed players on Steam will be the first to try it out. In the shop, and this is pretty big, Korean region IP has been unlocked on Steam, so Korean players can now join the global version, or the only version left, I should say, for Bless Online, which is on Steam, so that's pretty handy. And finally, something that is not from Korea is Stanlock Studios' MOBA slash Battle Royale mashup, Battle Right Royale, which I'm sure many of you have heard of. Well, Battle Right Royale is going to be hosting a free-to-play weekend beginning December 7th today at 9 a.m. PST until December 10th at 9 p.m. PST. In addition, Battle Royale Royale will be available on Steam with a 50% discount from December 9th until December 12th. It's currently on Steam's early access and the game is going to be released fully in 2019. So if you've never played Battle Riot Royale before, do jump in for a free weekend and check it out. We had some fun when we tested it. It has 20 different champions to choose from, and it takes all the fun formulas of a Battle Royale game. At the same time, the MOBA mechanics makes it really unique. And that wraps up our MMO News recap for the week. For more MMO News as it happens, head on over to our website at MMOsWorld.com. Hit the like button for more videos, and do subscribe to MMOs World. As ever, I'm Adrian from MMOs World, signing out.